The Kane Library has many options for places where students can study. Sometimes you want to be able to talk softly to your neighbor. Others you don't want to hear any talking at all. The types of study spaces include first-come, first-served locations open to everyone, reserved study carrels that are allocated at the beginning of the semester, quiet study areas where silence is enforced, and group study rooms for projects and media viewing. First-come, first-served study areas are spread out through the library floors. On the first floor, the main reading room is immediately to your left when entering the library. Several desks with table lamps and computer plugins are available, as well as computers for doing research and writing papers. To the right of the reading room is the Sun Forge area, located on the side of the library building closest to the Alston building. This laid-back hallway section of the library has comfortable chairs and a pleasant atmosphere. The library terrace, an outdoor patio for studying or taking a study break, is also located on the main floor. Another large study space, the Cater Elmore Reading Room, is located on the ground floor. Various other free study tables are also available on the ground floor. Open study carrels that are not reserved are located on the main floor just past the stairs to the ground floor and across from the collections. The other carrels in the library must be reserved. These are located on the ground floor, stack two, floor three, and stack three. These spaces are ideal for students who intend on doing intense research for long periods of time. There are a limited number of these carols. At the beginning of every semester, students line up to request them. Seniors are given priority. Once all of their requests are filled, other students can receive them on a first-come, first-served basis. Is your neighbor too noisy? Do clicking mouses and tapping keyboards get in the way of your concentration? Floor 3 and Stack 3 are reserved for quiet study. This means no talking, no music, and no computer or laptop use. These tables allow students to peacefully read through course materials without interruption from conversations, audio devices, or cell phones. Silence is strictly enforced in the quiet study area. If you need to talk quietly or work under the computer, please do so in any of the other study areas. If you want to collaborate with classmates in a space that won't disturb others, visit one of the group study rooms. There are a total of six group study rooms in the McCain Library. You will find two group study rooms on the main floor and stack one, and stack two and floor three have one group study room each. There are also three group media study rooms for watching videos assigned for class. All group study rooms are first come, first serve, and cannot be reserved ahead of time. Now let's look at the study spaces by floor. On the ground floor, you will find the Elmore Reading Room, reserved study carrels, three media study rooms, and open study tables. The main floor has the most first come, first serve options, with the main reading room, the terrace, the hallway near Alston, unassigned study carrels, and two group study rooms. Stack 1 has two group study rooms. Stack 2 has one group study room, as well as some of the reserved study carrels. Floor 3 is a quiet study space with reserved carrels and open tables. One group study room is also located there. Stack 3 is for quiet study and has reserved study carrels. If you need help or have any questions, a librarian will be more than happy to help you. Contact us by email, phone, or at the Scotty Research and Rescue Desk.